say, this is really good garlic. No offense, cold spot. This is garlic from Woolworths. And it's, uh, look at just how it peels. This is just like ridiculously good garlic. Okay, when I told my family that I would like to join MasterChef 2022, one of the first comments that I got from my brother was that I needed to learn how to chop garlic very quickly. Just to give a little bit of context, growing up in the kitchen with my mom, she would always have a container of chopped garlic ready for cooking. And so it was like a dedicated container for garlic, just purely for chopped garlic. Nothing else went in it. It was always restocked, probably a weekly basis. We definitely took garlic chopping very seriously in my household. I mean, there was even times where we would just be peeling garlic in front of the TV because it was just so time consuming. And when there was an opportunity to be preparing garlic, you took it. But obviously in the MasterChef kitchen, I don't think I'll be having the time to be peeling garlic. So we are going to be learning if there's a way to chop garlic very quickly. So let's see what's out there. Garlic chopping oh okay so there's a jamie oliver talks you through preparing garlic how to mince garlic fast now that's now we're talking here let's watch that video one of the hallmarks of this dish is plenty of big bold garlic flavor so it's no wonder that we are using eight cloves so she's already got her garlic peeled oh well i guess it's really just a mincing garlic Video. Now we simply need to peel and mince them, and we've already gone ahead and peeled ours. Just easy to do, just smash them with the flat side of your chef's knife. Think of someone you don't like when you're doing this, it's very effective. I think better now. All right, and then scoop them all up into a pile, and rock your knife over and start mincing away. Okay, so I already know this technique. I know this mesh and chop. Well, that's not really anything new. Ooh, okay, so the ultimate garlic peeling trick. How to peel 20 cloves in 20 seconds. Now that's what we're talking about. Com with the ultimate garlic peeling trick. So what you're gonna need for this great technique is a head of garlic and then two metal bowls. So step one here, we're gonna take our head of garlic, we're gonna give it a whack on the cutting board to loosen those cloves, which we're gonna to toss into one of our bowls. And once we have our cloves in the bowl, we are ready to commence peeling, except we're not peeling, we're shaking. That's gonna make a lot of noise. Am I even allowed to make that much noise in the master chef kitchen? Whack on the cutting board, I don't know. So I'll get a cutting board. Oh. And then just throw it all in here. And then just shake it for 20 seconds. Eight out of 12 garlic cloves were successfully peeled. Mm. I'm very impressed. Very good. I like I have like two bowls I have to wash. Which is kind of annoying. And as always, enjoy. Let's move on. Okay, this one looks interesting. It's called Viral TikTok Garlic Peeling Hack. Today I'm going to test out this viral garlic hack that's going around. I'm sure many of you have seen this video. Let's see if it works. In the videos I saw, they cut it in half and give it a nice whack on top with a knife and they should all magically fall out. It did not work. Let me know in the comments if it worked for you. So she says it doesn't work. I mean, I actually don't think she was hitting it with knife hard enough. I reckon if you sort of loosen it off a bit, give it a bit of squeeze, maybe that's the trick, you know? And then she chops it in half. Okay, well, half my garlic I took apart. That's clearly not gonna work for the top half of my garlic. And then she puts that wax it with a knife. That doesn't look very safe, does it? Look now. Okay, this isn't wrong. This does not work. This is not working at all. Alright. 
yeah, I'm definitely writing that trick off. This one says how to cut garlic with Chef Eric Crowley, Chef Eric's culinary classroom. If you've got the word chef in front of you, you must be legit, right? I'm Chef Eric Crowley and I own the culinary classroom in West Los Angeles and I'm going to show you how to slice a clove of garlic. After we wind up peeling the garlic, one of the things you'll identify is this little root at the end. Garlic is an onion relative, so just like onions, it's got a root on it. Wait, hold on, garlic's for the onion relative? I didn't know that, so you're learning something new every day. We just trim that root off just like that. And then to start to slice the garlic, I'll set the garlic clove down, try and find a nice stable spot. Then we're going to wind up taking the garlic clove, lightly hold on to the garlic with your fingertips curled underneath. As this starts to get really short and really narrow in your other hand, if you don't feel comfortable holding that anymore, set it aside and use it for something else. And that's how you slice a clove of garlic. See how to chop garlic. But then when it gets to the tip, he pretty, he pretty much just writes it off and says you could just use it for something else. That's really wasteful. Why would you do that? No, I don't like that video at all. Okay, there's how to cut garlic the right way, according to a chef. Yeah, okay. He slices, he slices it in half, and then makes little, little cuts on the side here, and then rinses it. Ooh! I reckon it actually gets to mincing it much quicker. Look at that. Look at how well it's sliced up very quickly. I'm really impressed with that trick and so I think that's going to be my new garlic chopping technique. You're probably wondering what am I going to do with all this garlic? Well it's a good thing I am out of garlic oil and so I'm just going to make some more now with all this garlic. This is this is a lot of garlic. It's probably gonna. I'm just gonna have garlic oil for months, for days. I don't know. Let's make some garlic oil. And here I am about to make some garlic oil. I'm just heating up some oil and in goes the garlic. I like to fry it up to a nice gold crispy color. I actually keep my garlic in the oil as well because it just really adds this crunchy texture as well as the flavor. With the garlic oil, I'm going to make some hand pulled noodles, which is also known as pan mi. Growing up, this is something that my mom would make for us and it was just such a simple meal and it would just come to life with all these delicious condiments that my mom would make for it. With the plating, I've added some shiitake mushrooms that I've caramelized with some soy sauce and sugar. Also added a sliced egg omelet with some shredded chicken some chili oil and of course the garlic oil itself that is absolutely delicious wow i'm like a garlic chopping pro now oh how about i slice it this way too ah oh, look at that look at that beautiful